I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 24th of February, 2023, and this is my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua. Today, we're finally going to be giving that house tour that everybody's been asking about. We're going to look at some restaurants, too. Let's get to the day. Today is Friday, it is the 24th, and that means that tomorrow, Saturday, the 25th, which is my birthday, we have the epic party going on. And that means everybody is scrambling today, trying to get everything ready for that party. So it is pretty much a dedicated day. Marcella and her kids came into town last night uh, to help get ready for uh, all the events going on tomorrow so that she could be here the entire day today and not have to travel or anything. So last night, real quickly, I'm gonna show this. We went out to Suki Amy Coffee, which is the Korean restaurant located on uh, Ruben Dario in Saragossa, which is on the, uh, the, the Sutiava side of Leon, really close to where we are here. And uh, they had never had sushi, so uh, the kids, so we wanted to go out and do that with them. So we did that uh, and got a little bit of shots of that. So I'm gonna show that. I didn't get full like our bill or anything because it was a lot of stuff going on and it's very dark in a lot of these restaurants. Uh, but I did get the menus and some food and stuff just so you could see it. Uh, the uh, her kids ended up not really liking sushi, but they did enjoy some of the other things that they had there, like ramen. Uh, it's uh, it's a pretty cool restaurant. There's not very many places where you can get sushi or ramen or anything like that. All Asian foods are pretty much exotic here in Leon, if not Nicaragua in general. We can't get Indian food in the country anymore. Uh, there's only um, there's a few Chinese restaurants here in uh, Leon, but that's about it. And they're not American Chinese. They're not at all what we're used to, which is fine. But they're very different and very limited. If we want to get to like Asian fusion, we have to go up to uh, Chinandega uh, with Dragonfly. Um, we've we've been to like Madagalpa to explore the Asian restaurants. It really is pretty difficult. I'm trying this underneath this uh, this tree today. Um, so our big. My big thing today, I had some time, everyone was out running errands, the house was cleared out because we've got the party going on tomorrow, so I'm doing a walkthrough of much of the house, not all of the house, I've got some rooms that were just not available um, and, and people were busy or whatever, so I didn't show those, uh, but because a lot of things like the living rooms are, are pretty much cleared, uh, I wanted to show those today while I can, and I apologize up front for the camera quality because it's very dark, the GoPro is terrible in low light, I think the GoPro 11 is actually worse than the 9, so sorry for that as well, um, but you can see the house and it does have the wider, it gives me more lens options on the 11, so that's why I went with that but boy is the the noise bad trying to do these so sorry but you can get a pretty good feel for the house in the backyard my dad especially has been asking to be able to get a tour of the house and have a feel for what it's like so here we go we're gonna go to that right now all right so this is the main living room we've moved all the furniture out because we have the party today you can see the space is absolutely huge i'm on the normal camera view this is not a wide view i mean the gopro is always wide but this is this is not this is as narrow as it gets and this is how big the house looks i don't have to put it onto one of those like like house showing views to show it off so this is luciana's room this is liesel's room this is my room this is the back hallway this is dominica's lounge this is the kitchen and this is the uh it's meant to be the formal dining room but we use it as a pantry because we have just so much needs now today is the birthday party so everything is set up uh for the party and everything's been moved out and we're storing lots of stuff you can see how much water we have ready for the party so that's showing the house today is kind of perfect because it's in many ways empty or been cleared out or whatever. So this is the back hallway. This is interesting. These are really large closets. Uh, this one's like our linen closet, for example. Uh, and then, so this is just storage for the most part. We're gonna pop in here real quickly. A lot of this is dark. We're just storing fans, extra bed. Uh, sometimes we store a lot of things. It's actually cleared out because of the party. Uh, these windows open out onto the front garden and are pretty nice. This room used to be part of the outside at some point they expanded the house and made this part of the inside then this is the in-law suite or second master back here this is paul's room 
And then this is the back yard and garden. Okay, this is a new chair that just arrived minutes ago. Um, so that's gonna be going out front, but we're storing it here while we have the party. So this is the back garden. Uh, I believe we have a, um, I'm gonna get the name wrong. It's like an Anona uh, tree. It's supposed to be like the fr sweetest, most amazing fruit and really hard to get here. This is a lime tree and this is a mango tree and you can hopefully on the video really see those are a lot of mangoes on there already. They're not quite ready but there's a lot of mangoes there. This backyard has this really nice brick wall. So the air comes through, but it's isolated from the front yard. You don't have to worry about like the dogs getting through or anything. Um, there is this uh, door here. This is always locked, uh, but that the cat can get through uh, if it needs to. That's Paul's windows there. This is my windows here. And so right now, this is just hard packed dirt, which is really common here as a thing to do, but it does have sprinklers built in. They don't quite sprinkle. I'm not sure what the deal is, um, but uh, it, with a little bit of effort, we can turn this into a very lush green garden as well. The dogs do like being able to run around out here. They don't use it as much as you'd think. Um, and we need to work on uh, training this wall because if this was all green, it would be even nicer. And all of our tanks go back here. This is where all of our uh, fuel tanks uh, get hidden. So they're away from the house, both for safety um, and and for convenience. And they have their own little roof there too. And then they feed lines into the kitchen. All right. As we walk around out here, this is pretty cool. We have this little tiny garden spaces out here. They're, they're not super maintained, but they have a lot of potential. But there, there actually is a bit done. Um, but I think uh, if we're going to be here for a long time, which we hope to be, we're going to really put some effort into making these uh, even more of uh, traditional garden spaces. This is our water tank that we really use. This is the pressurized one with the bomba with the pump. Uh, and this is our parking lot up there. This is a locked gate and you can see like the dogs can't get through there. Not that they could get through anyway. Um, and then this is the house. It's our neighbors over there. And then this is a shared parking garage between a couple of the different houses but really nice space. And like, there's some potential for some things back here, but mostly this is a utility space. But you can see like they put in these bushes and this beautiful tree. I can't remember. I think this is an avocado tree right here, uh, but they're not ripe yet. And then currently this is a guest suite, uh, relatively full. And this is our chef's quarters here. And then there is a bathroom here that is shared between them. A lot of Work needs to be done back here yet, uh, but it's it's mostly usable now. Um, and then this is the bodega. So this entire structure here is just basically an outdoor closet. Uh, we're not using it too much. We store like boxes of stuff and things that don't matter in there because it is open air. So there's no no real protection, but it's uh, it's a huge amount of space. I mean, it's an entire structure of its own, which is really cool. And then we have this water tower back here in this back corner. We have a, that's just a window, uh, but the cat can come and go. That goes to um, the, the another parking lot for, for someone else. And then we have this big, this is uh, common in Nicaraguan homes. They have this big laundry space somewhere, but this is bigger than most. This one's dedicated, which is fantastic. And then we have this whole laundry area. So this is basically the, the mud room slash laundry room. Um, so you can do a lot. I mean, you can do a lot of washing back here and it's meant to not have a washing machine, but we put in a washing machine, but you don't use a dryer here. You just hang everything out on the line, uh, which is great. Uses less power and everything, but this is basically an entire another room of the house. It happens to be outside, but it functions as an entire part of the house. So really, really great use of the space and everything. It's, it's pretty fantastic. So over time we'll be, we'll be fixing up this back area a bit. This is a, a lower priority, um, but it is important to us because it gives us a lot of space, a ton of storage um, because we don't have an attic, we don't have a basement, um, but it gives us a lot of the functionality of that by having an entire storage room. We're actually beautifully overcast today, which is not too common. This is summer. It, it kind of gives the appearance of rain. I guarantee we're not going to have rain. This is actually perfect because I'm filming this uh, on the day of my birthday party. And so having it be a little bit cooler uh, would be nice for the party because there's going to be so much going on. From the main living room going forward, we don't normally have this table here. This is here for the party. That's a lot of alcohol as uh, we get ready. So we have the front. This is the front main door. You can see we have the, the trellis archway going out and uh, we've actually let that door uh, get grown over there. We actually like it as more of a privacy wall so that from the, even though that's a really private street looking in, why bother? So we have an entrance that is over there instead. This is my office here. 
This is my office bathroom here, and then this is closed for the moment, but this is the another guest suite slash the uh, video game and entertaining room, like the room for the kids uh, where they're able to uh, do things. So uh, this open arch space is absolutely gorgeous. I love this design. And then this is the formal living room over here, or the sala. Uh, so I, or right now, we're getting ready for the party, so it's just stacks of beer. But uh, we're planning on probably having like plants there. Um, these baskets that we're showing over here, these are all new. Uh, we have to set up um, like a platform up there, but we're going to decorate that with the baskets. That is the plan, and we're going to be getting artwork and stuff. There's like a lot of things going on. Um, and so much open air, like you can just see there's, we have constant air blowing through. So this is the formal sitting room. Right now, we just took all of the couches that we had and threw them in here because this is where people are going to sit for the party. Uh, you can see we right out there is where we often sit for breakfast. We have the new hammocks going on out there. Right now, the hammocks are tied up, but they're right now in the process of getting the parts to put them on swivel hooks. So they'll be able to come up and come down as needed at any time. Um, and the gardeners are out there getting the garden ready as well. So that is the main part of the house. You can see from this very front, give you a feel for how far back it is. That is a long way through the house and you can see it here from the outside. I'm going to go through this part of the house quickly again because we do have this GoPro 11 with the Hyperview and we might as well leverage it. So this is the equivalent of a 12 millimeter lens on full frame. So this is very very wide and gives you that warpy feeling, but it also lets you see everything in a completely different way. So we're just going to really quickly do this just in case anyone wants to see what all this looks like. That is Yao going by real quickly. You see her in a lot of videos because she is our chef here at the house. I don't even know who's in the kitchen. So many people here today. And here's the backyard. Ta-da! The Hyperview works really well when you're not walking around, but when you swivel, it definitely gets weird. All right, to show this one small room, I've got it on the wide view because I kind of have to. This is my office. So this is out the front. I have this gorgeous giant outside door that we keep locked, but it's got these security bars. So I have all this air coming through and it's absolutely great. And I keep my the door to the house open so the air just comes right through. And I've got these giant windows over here. Normally I keep two desks, but we turned one of them uh, for the party and took it outside. This is my studio light, which I just put in recently for the episode I did at night the other day comparing Bali and uh, Omate. Tepe, this is where I did the lighting. I want to get a second one and have it like kind of permanently mounted because they're not going to leave here very often. And I want to get a permanent camera mount behind the monitors that looks at me so I can have like a, a studio space there. This is a huge mess, partially because this room is in flux. Everything's on the floor. We got just threw things in here because we've got the party today. You can see out into the main house. You can see where I'm situated. That's the living room out there. And I've got my tripods over here. But this space is great. This really is a large office space. A lot of it's just open, but that's what you need. You need the ability to move around and stand and then put a chair and just sit wherever, uh, potentially sit by the, the window and film myself. I do need to get a backdrop there. We're going to put in lots of decorations, a lot of sound deadening. Um, I do have air conditioning. I, I've only used it maybe three days since we've, we've been here. So it's about one day a month. I decide it's hot enough or whatever I need to to do it. And a lot of times the um, Mia will sit in the doorway behind me and Clive likes to sit right there in the yard. He's so funny um, that almost all the, t the day I can just look out there and see him sitting out there. Uh, but this is great. I get all this air. I almost never run the fan, believe it or not. And this is new. Got this like an hour ago. Um, I ha From time to time I bring a fan in, but most of the time I don't need it. I don't need to listen to the, the motor running. Just the breeze from outside is so nice. And you can kind of see that's the parking lot right out there. And uh, so this is all going to be cleaned up. Um, we're going to, uh, April's helping us design. We're going to have like shelves and stuff underneath the windows. So I'm going to have storage and all the wires and stuff are going to be in there. I'm going to get a new desk that's built in. Hopefully the monitors are going to be mounted to the wall and the camera and the studio lights are all going to have a place to go. And I have another stand already. I only need the second light. So I'm that close to that. Um, and then uh, the, the Wi-Fi is going to get mounted up on this wall somewhere. I'm going to have uh, a, a quilt on the wall, possibly two of them, which will do a lot of sound deadening and be absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, and uh, so that's my office. So this is going to get a lot of work, and it's the first room that's getting like heavily decorated, uh, but April has not been available to do that yet, and it just takes a lot of time. So uh, pretty soon, hopefully, we're going to have that. Uh, and in the meantime, that is my office as it is, and that is our little dog sitting in the yard being a goof. All right, I'm going to show the master bedroom now. We have this beautiful wall here. This room is so large, I don't have to have it on the hyper view on the 12 millimeter. This is the 16 millimeter lens equivalent. Uh, so we have <laughs> Apple uh, HomePod. It's a little bit of a mess because we got, we're storing stuff for the party and stuff in here. New fan, again, just today. Uh, this is a king bed, so you can see how much space we have. I mean, this is a lot of space. We have an air conditioner that's been in here and this big windows, these are closed now. We tend to air condition this room at night, but really most of the time we don't have to. We can open the windows and it's pretty nice and the dogs love it in here. They sleep in here. We have a lot of closet space, our TV. Um, this is all closet down here and then really deep storage up there. This is a giant, giant space. Nicaraguans don't tend to have really large master bedrooms and this one is pretty fantastic and then the bathroom here is really great too this is one of the pieces that really sold us that first of all all the toilets here are american um, they're american standard so that's something you don't get here too often you can see one of our new suicide showers that was just put in this is a big shower space with a place to sit like not something you normally find you can see the backyard right there and we're gonna come around, there is the double sinks, also not super common, of course you can find it, uh, but not, not super, super common in Nicaragua. So that is our master suite. Gives you a fair idea of the house. That's all I'm gonna be able to show for today, but uh, I know people have been asking a lot to see some of the house and I wanted to uh, take the opportunity while things were um, all in different positions and the furniture was moved around and the space was all open and a bunch of cleaning and stuff was done to at least show uh, the portions that I can. We'll need to show the kitchen and the kids' rooms uh, some other time, um, but gives you a pretty good idea. The kitchen being right there, but it is full. We have three cooks in there today uh, getting food ready for the party. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tour of the majority of our house here in Sutiava, Leon, Nicaragua. We are loving living in this house. It is so beautiful and there, it's gonna be great for the party tomorrow. We have so many great spaces, so much room for the band to set up, to host people, to be able to have outside on the patio, we can have so many people sitting out. We're, we're really excited um, about all of that going on tomorrow uh, and what we're able to do with it today. Now, today we are in Lent, uh, and so I mentioned on Wednesday that we wanted to go out and try queso, uh, sopa de queso uh, so that you guys could see it and do this traditional Nicaraguan vegetarian thing that is done during Lent. So we went out to El Vivero tonight, which has been advertising that they have the soup, and we got there and we tried to order it. They said, oh no, it's only for breakfast, only in the morning, and we're like, what? But you're only open at 11 o'clock and later, like when do you serve? They're advertising it everywhere, and they're like, no, it's only early in the day, and we're like, what? So we went through all that effort and went to Vivero and they didn't even have what, uh, what was wanted anyway. So that was, that was kind of annoying. Everybody went out to Via Via uh, to see Revolver play tonight, except for me. Now, they play mostly like uh, Pearl Jam and uh, Pink Floyd, things that, that I'm not into and don't want to hear. So I didn't go out and see them. I went home and had all four kids and took care of them while everybody else went out to Via Via all evening. So I got some time to get some stuff done, hung out, relaxed, watched some Orville. Tomorrow's going to be a big day, so I got quite a bit more sleep. I went to bed early while everyone was out. Uh, they're going to be a lot more tired tomorrow than me. Uh, so, but it was a good evening, and I just wanted to show a little bit of the restaurants and, and what we've been doing, and tomorrow is going to be very exciting. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions. Get down there in the comments. Ask away. Let's talk. Have a discussion. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Miller. That helps a lot to pay for everything it takes to do this channel, which really is quite a bit. And as always, post on social media, stick it on all the sites, send it to your friends, tell them to check it out, and I will see all of you on my birthday for the party tomorrow.